Hello, mighty companion. This is Earl Purdy, Earl Raj Purdy. And I want to welcome you to Facebook Live, A Course in Miracles, A Course in Correct Perception, A Course in Miracles. And we're going to talk about how forgiveness, which is you're having the correct perception, that's what Course in Miracles definition of forgiveness is, offers everything you want. How does forgiveness offer you everything you want? How does correcting your perception give you everything you want? And so if you want everything you want, well, we're going to talk about how you can have everything you want from a Course in Miracles perspective. And we're going to start out with a little music to get ourselves centered at, by Brother John Christmas at www.johnchristmas.com. And it's going to be all about one of the Course in Miracles workbook lessons, which is I am not a victim of the world I see. Welcome, mighty companion. Here we go. I'm not a victim of the world I see. I'm not a victim of the world I see. I'm not a victim of the world I see. I'm not a victim of the world I see. I'm not a victim. Of the world I see I'm not a victim no, Of the world I see I'm not a victim of my ma I'm not a victim of my pa I'm not a victim of even circumstance at all I'm not a victim Of the world I see Cause what's happening now is what I've done to me. I'm not a victim of the future, not a victim of the past, not a victim of anything that really doesn't last. I'm not a victim of the world I see. Cause what's happening now. Done to me. I'm not a victim of the world I see. I'm not a victim of the world I see. I'm not a victim no, of the world I see. That's the truth, y'all. You're not a victim of the world you see. You're not a victim of the world you see. You are not a victim of the world you see. You are not a victim of the world you see. Say to say that to yourself right now. I am not a victim. I am not a victim of the world I see. I am not a victim of the world I see. I want to ask you to remember only this. I'm going to give you the guidelines from A Course in Miracles about how you study The Course in Miracles, how you allow yourself to receive The Course in Miracles, especially if this is the first time that you are hearing The Course in Miracles. Remember only this, remember only this. You need not believe the ideas that I'm about to share with you from A Course in Miracles. You need not accept the ideas that I'm about to give you from A Course in Miracles. You need not even welcome the ideas that I'm about to give you from A Course in Miracles. Guess what? Some of the ideas, some of the ideas you may actively, you may actively resist some of the ideas. Some of the ideas 
you will find hard to believe. Some of the ideas that I share with you from A Course in Miracles may startle you. Do you know you are not asked to judge and analyze the ideas in A Course in Miracles? So how will you know if the ideas in A Course in Miracles are true? Fair question. Using the ideas that I'm about to give you, using the ideas from A Course in Miracles will give the ideas meaning to you <clears throat> and will show you, show you that the ideas are true. Their use will give the ideas meaning to you and will show you that the ideas are true. Their use will give the ideas meaning to you and will show you that the ideas are true. I am your remembering coach. Uh, I'm your divine repetition teacher. Uh, I have been teaching and learning A Course in Miracles for 43 years next month. I have been doing the Course in Miracles full time as my life's work uh, for 36 years. So I want to help save you time. That's the purpose of a relationship according to the Course in Miracles. You're in a relationship to save you time toward reaching your joy, toward reaching your happiness. We're gonna be in the Course in Miracles workbook, the Course in Miracles in the blue book. The Course in Miracles is three books in one. There's a text, there's a workbook, and there's a manual for teachers all in this book. We're going to be in the workbook, lesson 122. It's on page 217. Page 217. Did I say page 217? Yes. Page 217 in the, in the workbook, lesson 122, forgiveness offers everything I want. Forgiveness offers everything you want. So let's get clear about what the Course in Miracles means by forgiveness, okay? Do you know that when the Course in Miracles says forgiveness, it's not using the traditional uh, definition of forgiveness, which is you trying to overlook what you think someone did to you. When the Course in Miracles talks about forgiveness, it's not talking about overlooking uh some harm that someone did you. That's what the Course in Miracles calls forgiveness to destroy. So when the Course in Miracles talks about forgiveness, some of its definitions of forgiveness is true perception. Forgiveness is correct perception. So the Course in Miracles defines a, perce a perception as an interpretation. When you say you perceive me, you're really just interpreting me. So forgiveness is correct interpretation. Forgiveness is looking at a person or a situation or a circumstance correctly so that you keep your peace, so that you have total peace and total joy. So forgiveness offers everything you want. The Course in Miracles is a course on how to remove the blocks to having everything that you want. So forgiveness, the Course in Miracles, offers everything you want. So when I go through this lesson, I'm going to substitute a correct perception for the word forgiveness or true perception for the word forgiveness so that we can learn the new meaning of forgiveness. Because if you see things correctly, then you have peace and you have joy. When you have peace, do you know that when you have peace and joy, you can allow higher power, spirit, greater power, God, to take over in your experience to allow you to have what you really want. And what could you really want that forgiveness, which is correct perception, cannot give? 
So it says, what could you want forgiveness cannot give? It's the same as saying, what could you want correct perception cannot give? Do you want peace? Do you know that the Course in Miracles defines peace as total fulfillment? I love the Course in Miracles definitions of the terms. So let me ask you, mighty companion, do you want peace? Do you want total fulfillment? I want to thank you, mighty companions, for being online, joining me live. And I want to thank those of you who are watching the replay. It's so good to be here with you. So here we go. Do you want peace? Do you want total fulfillment, which is peace? Guess what? Forgiveness, correct perception offers peace. Do you want happiness? Do you want happiness? Do you want happiness? Do you really want happiness? Do you really want happiness? Do you really want a certainty of purpose? Do you really want a purpose that you're certain of? Do you really want a purpose that you are sure about? Forgiveness offers it. Correct perception offers it. Do you want a quiet mind? Do you want a mind that doesn't have conflict? Do you want a mind that doesn't have fear? Do you want a mind that doesn't have guilt? Do you want a mind that's not depressed? Do you want a quiet mind? Do you want a certainty of purpose? Forgiveness, which is correct perception, offers it. Now, the Course in Miracles teaches you how to have a correct perception of everything so that you can maintain your peace and your center in any and every situation. So, do you want a sense of worth? Do you want a sense of beauty that transcends the world? Do you want a sense of beauty that transcends the world? Do you want a sense of your beauty that transcends the world? Do you want to see a beauty that transcends the world? Forgiveness, correct perception, learning a course in miracles, doing a course in miracles offers a sense of worth and beauty that transcends the world. Do you know that the Course in Miracles says the most important thing you can do is to set a goal? And the first thing you should ask yourself is, what is it that I want to come out of this? What is it that I want to come out of this relationship? What is it that I want to come out of this situation? What is this relationship for? What is this situation for? <clears throat> so for us to set a goal is for us to set the goal of forgiveness, which is setting the goal of having correct perception, true perception. Do you want care? Do you want safety? Do you want the warmth of sure protection always? Do you want to feel like you are protected always? Do you want to have a sense that you're always safe, that you're always protected? Do you want to feel like you're always safe, that you're always protected? Always. Do you want a quietness. Do you want a quietness? Do you want a peace? Do you want a peace that cannot be disturbed? Do you want a peace that can't be disturbed? Do you want a peace that no one can disturb? Uh, forgiveness, which is correct perception and learning how to see things correctly, offers a quietness that cannot be disturbed. Do you want a gentleness? Do you want a gentleness that never can be hurt? Do you want a gentleness that never can be hurt? Do you want a deep abiding comfort? Do you want a deep abiding comfort? Do you want a comfort that is deep? Do you want to feel a comfort that is abiding? Do you want a rest? Do you want a rest? Do you want a rest? Do you want a rest so perfect that it can never be upset? Do you want a rest that can never be upset? Do you want a rest that is so complete, that is so perfect that it can never be upset? You need to answer these questions. You need to answer these questions. My classes are about the application of the ideas in our everyday life so that we can get the, the peace and the love that the Course in Miracles is promising us, right? I, that's my that's my goal. It's not to analyze the core. It's not to. It's it's about answering these questions and applying 
what the Course in Miracles is teaching so you can have the happiness that it promises. Do you want the peace? Do you want happiness? Do you want a quiet mind? Do you want a certain purpose? Do you want a sense of worth? Do you want a beauty that transcends this world? Do you want care? Do you want safety? Do you want protection always? Do you want a quietness that can't be disturbed? Do you want a gentleness that can never be hurt? Do you want a deep abiding comfort? Do you want a rest so perfect that it can never be upset? Uh, I want to see that answer in the comments down here. Uh, yes, I should be seeing some answers in the comments down here that's saying yes. Yes. Well, listen to me. Would you be willing to listen to the next paragraph of what the Course says? Well, all of that good stuff, all that comfort, all that protection, all that peace, that's what correct perception offers you. That's what forgiveness offers you. But guess what? Correct perception, which is forgiveness, offers you even more than that good stuff that I just mentioned. Do you know what else forgiveness, which is seeing things correctly, offers you? Well, forgiveness sparkles on your eyes when you wake up. Correct perception, which is forgiveness, gives you joy with which to meet the day. You meet the day with joy. Uh, when you really forgive, which means use correct interpretation of your experience, correct perception, soothes your forehead while you are asleep. Do you know correct perception, which is forgiveness, rests on your eyelids so that you don't have any dreams of fear, so that you don't have any evil dreams and nightmares, so that you don't have any dreams of attack, so that you don't have any kind of fear or malice or anger. And when you have a forgiving mind, when you have a mind that is looking at things correctly, a mind that is at peace, a mind that is forgiving, then it offers you what? It offers you another day of happiness and peace. Forgiveness offers you another day of happiness and peace. Learning how to see things differently. Learning how to see that person differently. Learning how to see that situation that has you upset and angry and having grievances. Learning how to see that situation differently. Learning how to see that person differently will offer you another day of happiness. Another day of total fulfillment, which is peace. Let yourself hear that. Let yourself hear that. All this forgiveness offers you. All this, of course, in miracles offers you. All this peace and seeing things correctly and truly offers you. So do you think that's worthwhile? I think it's worthwhile. So what else does forgiveness do? What else does correct perception do? What else does learning the course in miracles do? It lifts the veil. What veil? There's a veil, there's a belief that you have that has the face of Christ, which is the face of the true self, the face of love. Um, when you have grievances and anger and, and, and guilt, uh, it, it hides love, it hides peace, it hides your true self. So when you see things correctly, it lifts your veil, which is your wrong perception, that has the face of love from those who look with unforgiving eyes upon the world. Those who look with grievances upon the world, do you know that those who look with grievances, those who look with grievances, that grievance hides the loving face of that person, that loving person, that good that's in that person, is hidden by the veil of unforgiveness and grievances that you have about that person. And you know who that person is. You know who that person is. You know who that's what, that, what situation that I'm talking about. Your grievances hide your miracles. Your grievances hide your abundance. Those grievances hide your peace, your good, your happiness. Guess what? So what does forgiveness do? What does correct perception do? What does learning the Course in Miracles and applying the truth, what does it do? It lets you recognize the child of God, the child of love, the child of spirit, the real person. Guess what? Forgiveness, which is learning how to see people and things differently, lets you recognize the child of God. Do you know that if you have a lot of grievances about anyone or anything, the Course in Miracles calls those angry 
grievance thoughts, dead thoughts, dead thoughts. You have some dead thoughts, dead thoughts, dead thoughts. You have dead thoughts. If you have thoughts of grievances, if you have thoughts of anger, if you have thoughts of sickness, if you have thoughts of attack, if you have thoughts of lack, you have dead thoughts, dead thoughts. You have a lot of dead thoughts. So you need to have your memory cleared of all dead thoughts so that the remembrance of God, the remembrance of your creator, the remembrance of your father can rise across the threshold. Do you have dead thoughts? Do you have some dead thoughts about some people? Do you have some dead thoughts? Do you have some dead thoughts? Do you have some dead thoughts? Well, if your mind is full of dead thoughts, thoughts of anger, thoughts of grievances, thoughts of fear, then that's hiding the remembrance of love, your creator, and your happiness. It cannot, that remembrance of your creator cannot arise across the threshold of your mind. You're never going to remember your good. You're never going to remember the love. You're never going to remember the freedom and the abundance and the happiness if your mind is full of dead thoughts, dead thoughts. Dead thoughts are thoughts that cause you to feel anger, guilt, and grievances. What would you want forgiveness can't give? What could you possibly want that having correct, true perception cannot give? If you're seeing things correctly, if you're seeing things with love, if you're seeing things without fear, that's the way you see things when you have truly forgiven, which means to see the situation differently. What gifts but peace and joy and happiness are worthy to be sought? Do you know that you could have every material thing in the world, but if your mind is full of grievances and fear and insecurity and a sense of separation from your source, you won't enjoy it. You won't enjoy it. You can want every material, physical thing that you can come up with. But if your mind is messed up, you're not going to enjoy it. What gifts but happiness and peace are worthy to be sought? What fancied value, what trivial effect, what transient promise never to be kept? What could hold more hope than what forgiveness, which is correct perception? brings why would you seek an answer other than the answer that will answer everything why are you seeking some other answer other than the answer that you're receiving right now there there is no other answer to seek if you truly want to be happy if you really want to have peace that's an internal job the peace that you that come, your peace is going to come from the way you're looking at things, just like your upset is coming from the way you look at things. Everything outside yourself is neutral. It doesn't have any more meaning than the meaning that you give it. Whatever you're going through right now doesn't have any more meaning than the meaning that you give it. That, that grievance that you have toward that person that you say you, say you need to forgive, that that situation doesn't have any more meaning than the meaning that you're continuing to give it. So what could be more important than for you to get the real and true answer to your happiness? Do you know that the real and true answer to your happiness is going to come from you learning a new way of looking at things, a new way of interpreting things, and you have to learn how to forgive. Forgiveness is not inherent. It's not natural. It's something that must be learned. Just like you learned how to have a grievance, you have to learn how to let it go. You have to learn how to forgive. So what? Would, why would you keep on looking for the answer uh, when the answer is what I'm giving you right now? The answer that will answer everything. This is the perfect answer. Do you know that this is the perfect answer? Forgiveness is the perfect answer. Learning how to look at things another way, to look at that person another way, which is what the Course in Miracles teaches, is the perfect answer given to imperfect questions. This is the perfect answer that's given to requests that are meaningless. I'm giving you the perfect answer to your half-hearted willingness to listen, your half-hearted willingness to hear, your less than halfway diligence and partial 
trust. Here is the answer. 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 I'm giving you the answer. Forgiveness is the answer. Learning a course in miracles of truth or the truth is the answer. Learning how to look at the situation a different way is the answer. Getting new interpretations of what's going on in your life and the people in your life and the circumstances that's causing you unhappiness right now. You need a new way of looking at it. You need a new interpretation. That's what forgiveness is. This is the answer. Don't look for the answer. You don't have to keep seeking for the answer. I'm giving you the answer. I'm giving you the answer. A Course in Miracles is giving you the answer. It's giving you the answer right now. You won't find another answer other than the truth. The truth is the answer. The Course in Miracles is one way, not the only way, one way for some people that allows them to reach the truth. So you're not going to find another answer other than forgiveness. There is no other answer to having inner peace except learning how to look at things in a new way and learning how to look at things differently and giving everything that's happening in your life a new interpretation. When you learn how to do that is when you're going to have peace. And when you have peace, do you know what happens? When you have peace, then you're able to hear the voice for God. You're able to hear the voice of your creator guiding you, instructing you, helping you remove the blocks to your happiness. You did not create yourself. Don't you know you didn't create yourself? Don't you know you didn't create yourself? Don't you know you did not create yourself? Which means you have a creator. You have a creator. You have a source. You have a source. You have help. You have help. Get out of your ego. Get out of your ego. Get out of that part of you that thinks that you know everything, that even though you're not happy. Get out of that. Stop listening to that part of you that tells you that you're separate and alone and you've got to be autonomous and you've got to handle everything on your own. That's what an atheist is. Do you know an atheist is not necessarily someone who says they don't believe in God. Do you know that an atheist is someone who thinks that they are all alone? And they have to do everything all by themselves. Do you know that God's plan for your happiness can't change? Do you know that the universe's plan for your happiness cannot change? Do you know there's a divine plan for you and your happiness? And do you know that the reason why you are not experiencing that infinite joy and happiness is because you are following your plan? The reason why you don't have total peace and total happiness and total fun and total joy is you're following your plan. You're trying to follow your plan. Do you know the Course in Miracles tells everybody what their plan is? So let me tell you what your plan is. The Course in Miracles says our plan, the ego plan, is that everything outside of you and everybody outside of you somehow has to be different in order for you to be happy. The Course in Miracles says that's our plan. It's to come up with how everybody and everything around us needs to change in some kind of way and act out our script in some kind of way and behave the way we want them to in some kind of way, and then we will be saved. Then we will be happy. That is what the Course calls our plan. Our plan is to try to change others and change things outside of ourselves in order to be happy. That plan will always fail because you can't control something or somebody outside of yourself. God's plan, your creator's plan, love's plan, don't you know? Love's plan cannot change, but love's plan cannot fail. God's plan cannot fail. So what should you do? You should be thankful. What? You should be thankful. You should be thankful that God's plan re remains exactly as God planned it. You should be grateful that the plan of spirit never changes, that you can always count on the plan of spirit, that you can always. And what is that plan? Forgiveness. And what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is teaching you how to see things differently so that you can have inner peace. And then out of that inner peace, you can allow the higher power to take over and to heal your mind and heal everything in your perception in your life. 
So there's a plan. Do you know that there's a plan, a divine plan for your happiness that stands changelessly before you like an open door? There's a plan of your creator. There's a plan of love. There's a plan of freedom that stands before you like an open door. And it's like an open door with warmth and like an open door with welcome that's calling you from beyond the doorway. That, that God's plan, spirit's plan, love's plan, the true plan is asking you to enter, enter into the truth plan, enter into the divine plan and do what when you enter into God's plan? Uh, make yourself at home. Make yourself at home where you belong because home is where you belong. So whatever you're going through right now, there is a solution. That problem has already been solved. Spirit wants to take over to solve whatever it is that you need solved in your life right now. But you need to get out of the way. You need to get out of the way. You need to get out of the way. Because if you already knew how to handle it, you wouldn't be unhappy. You wouldn't be afraid in that area. You wouldn't be upset. So do you know you need to resign? You need to resign as your own teacher, which is exactly what you would do if you would honestly assess the results you've gotten from trying to handle everything on your own. So here is the answer. Here is the answer. Here is the answer. So let me ask you something. Would you stand outside while all of heaven and God and love is waiting for you on the inside? Would you keep standing outside your good and outside your abundance and outside the perfect relationship for you? Uh, because all that's going to come from inside, not outside. So forgive and be forgiven. Forgive and be forgiven. What? Forgive and be forgiven. Correctly perceive and be correctly perceived you correctly perceive which is forgive and then you are correctly perceived which is forgiven do you know do you know do you know that as you give you will receive as you give you will receive as you give the way you give that's what you're going to receive you're going to give what you receive you will receive what you're giving now you will receive what you are giving now. You will receive what you are giving now. What are you giving now? Are you giving everybody a hard time? Are you giving anger? Are you giving suspicion? Are you giving distrust? Are you just not giving, but expecting to receive? As you give, you will receive. Say that to yourself. As I give, I will receive. As I give, I will receive. As I give. You will receive what you give. Do you know that there is no other plan but that? That giving and receiving is the same? The only thing that's lacking? Do you know that the only thing that's lacking in your life is what you aren't giving? Do you know that the only thing that's lacking is what you're not giving? Do you know that the only thing that's lacking in your life is what you are not giving? What? The only thing that is lacking in your life is what you are not giving. As you give, you receive. As you give, you receive. As you give, you receive. There is no other plan for the salvation of the child of God. So what is it that we need to do today? What is it that we need to do today? You need to rejoice. What is it you need to rejoice about? What is it that you need to be happy about? You need to be happy that you're going to receive whatever you give because you are in charge of what you give. You are in charge of what you give. It's up to you. You can give. Give what you want to receive. Give what you want to receive. Give what you want to receive. All that you give is given to yourself. All that you give is given to yourself. So what is it that you need to rejoice about? 
You need to be happy because you have the answer. I'm giving you the answer. The Course in Miracles is the answer. Studying the truth is the answer. And that answer is clear. That answer is plain. And that answer is beyond deceit because that answer and the answer that I'm giving you is very simple. Are you aware that all the complexities the world has spun of fragile cobwebs will disappear. All the complexities in your life will disappear. Do you know that all the complexities and problems of your life will disappear? And the majesty of this extremely simple statement of truth will cause all the complexities and your problems to disappear. You have the answer. Here's the answer. A Course in Miracles is the answer for you. It may not be the answer for everybody, because there is one truth, but there are many ways to reach that truth. And there's somebody I'm talking to out there right now that they will allow themselves to reach their happiness and truth and peace through the teachings of A Course in Miracles. And I'm especially here to help you. I'm especially here to support you. So here's the answer. So what do you do? Don't turn away in aimless wondering again. Don't go on the search outside of yourself for another answer. Accept your peace now. Accept forgiveness now. Accept correct perception now. This, this is a gift of God. This answer is a gift of God. This teaching is a gift of God. The truth is a gift of your creator. The truth is not a gift of the world. The world is not going to teach you the truth. The world is not going to teach you the truth. The world is going to teach you that you're separate and afraid and on your own and that you're in danger and that you can have some good times and some bad times and some ups and some downs. The, the, this answer, the answer of peace doesn't come of the world. Do you know the world cannot give any gifts of any value? The fearful world cannot give you any gifts of any value, especially if you have a mind that has received what God has given you. A person that really knows that the only thing that's important is their peace and their love and their freedom, that's a person who realizes that the fearful world and the fearful people in the world can give them anything of any value. Are you aware that your creator wills that your salvation, which is your happiness and your joy, that you receive that happiness and joy today? God wills that your peace be received today. Your higher power wants your peace not to be necessarily received six weeks from now, six months from now. God wills that your peace be received today. God wills that the intricacies of your dream the intricacies of your so-called problems no longer hide their nothingness from you. There's not anything that you're going through that that problem has not been solved and that that problem cannot be solved by you changing your perception, looking at things a new way, letting yourself be taught a new way, which is forgiveness. Forgiveness is a willingness to see things differently, not overlooking what you think somebody has done to you because you're trying to be superior or better than them. That's not real forgiveness. That's the world's version of forgiveness. So what should you do? 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 Open your eyes today. Open your eyes today. Listen to me now. Open your eyes today. Open your eyes today. Open your eyes today. What's going to happen when you open your eyes? When you really open your eyes, when you really open your spiritual eyes, you're going to look upon a happy world. You're going to look upon a happy world. You're going to look upon a happy world, a world of safety and a world of peace. Look upon a happy world. You're going to look upon a happy world. Open your eyes today. Open your eyes today and look upon a happy world of safety, a happy world of peace. Look upon a happy world of safety. Look upon a happy world of peace. Forgiveness, correct perception, learning a new way to look at everything that's going on in your life that's making you unhappy in any way. Forgiveness is the means by which happiness and safety and peace comes to take the place of hell. Let, 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 let a happy world of safety and of peace take the place of fear and hell. Let love take the place of fear 
is the same as saying, let forgiveness take the place of hell. Because in quietness, love, blessings, and forgiveness rise up to greet your open eyes. Forgiveness, looking at things differently, looking at things correctly, will fill your heart. What will looking at things correctly do? It will fill your heart. What will your heart be filled with? Your heart will be filled with deep, 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 deep tranquility. Deep tranquility. Because what's going to happen if you keep on your truth path, if you keep moving toward the truth, you're going to become aware of ancient truths that are being newly born for you forever. These new, these ancient truths that you already know that's been hidden by the teachings of the world, these old ancient truths are going to rise. They're going to rise in your awareness. Do you know that what you are going to remember when you do your spiritual work, do you know that what you will remember can never be described? You're going to become aware of a truth that is so beautiful and that is so healing and that is so powerful that it's beyond anything that you can describe. Yet forgiveness offers it to you. Being willing to learn to look at things a new way offers it to you. So what are we going to do? We're going to remember the gifts. We're going to remember the gifts that forgiveness, correct perception gives. What else are we going to do? We're going to undertake our practicing today. And how are we going to undertake our practicing today? We're going to undertake our practicing with hope. And you're going to undertake your practicing with me in faith that this is going to be today that salvation, which is our peace, will be ours. So you can say, this is the day that peace will be mine. This is the day that peace will be ours. This is the day that peace will be ours. So are you ready? Are you ready to seek? Are you ready? Are you ready to seek for the peace and the joy and the abundance and the happiness today? Are you, are you, are you, are you aware that we hold the key within our hands. We hold the key. We hold the key. We hold the key. You hold the key right now. So why don't you accept this answer, heaven's answer, truth's answer. Why don't you accept the answer to the hell you've made? Why don't you accept the answer to the fear and the lack and the upset and the ups and downs you've made? Don't you want to get out of hell? Don't you want to get out of fear and upset? Are you ready to get out of it and not remain in it anymore? Stop acting like the answer isn't here just because it's not an answer that you thought of. Do you know that adults have a hard time accepting answers that they didn't think of? Even if the answer works? That's really a trip, isn't it? Sometimes adults, just because they didn't think of the answer, refuse the answer. So what do you want to do in the morning? What do you want to do in the evening? You want to gladly give 15 minutes to the search in which the end of your fear and upset is guaranteed. 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. So how do you do? How do what do you do? Well, in, the, in that 15 minutes, what do you do? You begin, okay, but you begin in hopefulness. Do you know that we've reached a turning point? You have reached the turning point. You may not realize it, but let me tell you, you have reached what? You have reached the turning point at which your road, your life path becomes far easier. You have reached the turning point at which the road becomes far easier. You have reached, you have reached you have reached the turning point at which your life becomes far easier. So what does that mean? It means that the way is short. 
You have just a short way to travel. You have just a short way to travel to get to your bliss, to get to your joy, to get to your healing. We are close. We are close to the appointed ending of the dream. We are close to the ending of fear. We are close to the ending of lack. It may not look like it, but we are close. You are close. You are closer than you think to the answer that you seek. You are closer than you think to the help that you seek. That you seek. So what do you do? Well, I want you to sink into happiness. I want you to sink in happiness as you begin these practice periods. These 15 minutes in the morning, these 15 minutes in the evening, they're going to give you a lot of rewards to the questions that you've been asking. And you're going to get some rewards because of your acceptance of what the answer brings. It's time for you to be open. So today, what's going to happen today? What's going to happen today? Well, today is going to be giving you to feel the peace that correct perception brings. Today, it can be giving you to feel the joy that lifting your grievances and lifting your anger holds out to you. You can experience that today. Before the truth, you will receive today. Do you know that before the truth, you will receive today this world of fear? This world of fear will fade until it disappears. And when this world of fear and separation and anger and, and murder and attack disappears, then you're going to see another world. You're going to see another world. And you're going to see a world that uh, you don't have any words to even describe. You're going to see a world that's so beautiful and so blessed and so loving that you will not have any words to describe that picture. And so what are we going to do right now? Right now, we're going to walk directly into the light. You and I are going to walk directly into the light. We're going to walk directly into the truth together. We're going to walk directly into the light. We are going to receive the gifts that have been held in store for us. It's time for you to receive the gifts, the gifts of God, the gifts of love, the gifts of freedom, the gifts of abundance that have been stored for you since the beginning of time. Do you know that there are blessings that have been stored for you since the beginning of time that's just been waiting for to day. So forgiveness, what does forgiveness do? Listen again, forgiveness offers everything you want. Today, all things you want are given you. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Today, all things you want are given you. Today, everything you want is given you. Don't let the gifts, don't let the blessings recede. Don't let the, don't let the lessons recede throughout the day. As you, as when this class ends or you're listening to this broadcast or this recording ends, don't let the blessings, don't let the answers that I have given you be lost as you return to meet this world that's full of shifting change, this world that's full of bleak appearances. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Retain your gifts that all you have to do is learn a new way of looking at things. All you have to do is Go to the Course in Miracles, study it and do it, or any truth book, any wisdom book, and study it. Give it attention so that you can retain those gifts in clear awareness. What are you going to see? When you start to correct your perception and when you forgive, you're going to see what doesn't change, a love that doesn't change, a happiness that doesn't change, an abundance that doesn't change in the heart of change. What are you going to see? What are you going to see when you do your spiritual work? You're going to see the light of truth behind the appearances. You're going to see the love behind the fear. You're going to see the abundance behind the lack. You're going to see the health behind the sickness. You're going to see the peace that's behind the anger. Be tempted. Don't be tempted to let the truth slip by. Don't be tempted to just listen to what I've said from A Course in Miracles today and then just forget about it. Because it's so easy to just forget about what I'm saying right now from A Course in Miracles. So don't drift into forgetfulness. Hold this truth that forgiveness is, offers everything you want. 
Hold this truth that correct perception offers everything you want firmly in your mind. Hold it in your mind. How do you hold the truth in your mind? Attempt to think of the truth at least one minute as each 15 minutes go by. Try to think something loving, something positive, something true for just one minute out of every 15 minutes. Remind yourself how precious the truth is, how precious your peace is, how precious you are. Because by reminding yourself that correct perception, forgiveness, your willingness to see things another way, your willingness to do the course, has the power to hold your gifts, your, your love, your peace, your joy, your abundance, and your awareness. You have to stay aware of what you want to manifest. You have to stay aware of what you want to manifest instead of focusing all of your focusing all of your awareness on what you don't want. You need to focus your awareness on what you want. So forgiveness offers you everything you want. Studying the truth, manifesting the truth, practicing the truth, forgiveness offers everything you want. Today, you have accepted that forgiveness offers you everything you want. Correct perception offers you everything you want. It's true. So that means today you have received the gifts of God. Today you have received a way out of that situation and circumstance or grievance or unhappiness that you're going through right now. The Course in Miracles is available to you. There are other truth teachings that are available to you, but you have to get outside of your own programming and your own conditioning, especially if you're not happy, especially if you're not happy. Especially if you're not happy, especially with that personal situation that you feel the greatest grievances and anger to it. You are using those people to block your good. You're using your, those people to keep you in lack and sickness and unhappiness. You, they don't even know what you're feeling. They may not even be, they, they don't know what you're feeling. So don't be attacking yourself and hurting yourself, thinking that you're hurting somebody else by keeping that grievance going. So in just a moment, I'm going to do something that's going to help drive this point home, okay? And uh, I'm a full-time teacher of A Course in Miracles. I do it on a donation basis. Please make uh, a financial expression of appreciation uh, to Earl Purdy at earlpurdy.com. You can use my website, earlpurdy.com, www.earlpurdy.com. You can use Venmo. You can use the Cash App, you can use PayPal, you can use Zelle. All you need is my email address, earlpurdy at earlpurdy.com. I'm also available for one-on-one -on -one sessions called Clarity Sessions that I can show you exactly through the Course in Miracles and my 40 years of studying new thought, how to handle and approach a situation that you know you're ready to let go of that you want help with. I'm available for mentoring, coaching, and also giving you insights and, and how you could possibly handle situations that you know you are tired and you want that to be handled. It's called a clarity session. Go to my website and it will give you all the details about my clarity sessions. And for those who are open and receptive to it, I am an astrologer and a numerologist. And I'm also available to do an interpretation of your chart that would also give you additional insight and information from spirit. I'm here just to be truly helpful. On Thursdays at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, I do another Facebook Live on A Course in Miracles called Hardcore Course in Miracles. On Thursdays at 7 p.m. Mountain Time on the Earl Purdy page on Facebook, the Earl Purdy page. And then on Sundays at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, I do this particular online presentation of A Course in Miracles. And also, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, you can attend the Sunday session in person at 1555 Race Street in Denver, Colorado, 80206. 1555 Race Street in Denver, Colorado. And it's also online. The Thursday night presentation online is not in person. It's just online. Okay? I upload all of my classes to YouTube. 
So I have hundreds of classes that are available on YouTube. So you don't have to necessarily be a member, member of Facebook to take advantage of the classes that I share. I'm here to be truly helpful. I'm here to be truly helpful. I'm, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here to be truly helpful. So let's drive the point home. Let's ride this home. And don't forget to listen to this class. Listen to this class uh, at least four times. And please share the video. Would you do that for me? Share the video so that other people can get a chance to hear another way of looking at things. So let me give you a quick review of what we covered so far. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Now, don't forget, forgiveness means you're learning how to see things direct, differently, learning how to see that person differently, learning how to have correct perception. So if you want forgiveness, if you want peace, if you want happiness, if you want a quiet mind, if you want a certainty of purpose, if you want a sense of worth and value that transcends the world, if you want care, if you want safety, if you want protection always, if you want a quietness that can't be disturbed, if you want a gentleness that can't be hurt, if you want comfort, if you want a rest so perfect it can never be upset, that's what the Course in Miracles, which is forgiveness, offers you. If you're really ready for a change, if you reached your limit, if you had enough. So what is the prayer? What is the prayer? What is the prayer that we want to remember? Here's the prayer. And you can just let yourself hear it, but you can also say it. It goes like this. Forgiveness offers everything I want. 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 Today I have accepted this as true. Today I have accepted this as true. Today I have accepted this as true. Today I have received the gifts of God. Today I have received the gifts of God. Today I have received the gifts of love. Today I have received the gifts of love. Now let me say it for you. Let me say it for you. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Correct perception offers everything you want. Correct perception offers everything you want. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Today you have accepted this as true. Today you have accepted this as true. What? Forgiveness offers everything you want. Today you have accepted this as true. Today you have accepted the gifts. Today you have received the gifts of God. Today you have received the gifts of God. Today you have received the gifts of God. Correct perception offers you everything you want. Today you have accepted this as true. Today you have received the gifts of love. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Correct perception offers everything you want. Learn to look at things a brand new way that the Course in Miracles teaches you how to do. Offers everything you want. Changing your mind offers everything you want. Changing your mind offers everything you want. Forgiveness offers everything, everything you want. Forgiveness, forgiveness. Letting go of grievances offers everything you want. Letting go of grievances offers everything you want. Today you have accepted this as true. Today you have received the gifts of God. Remember, you will receive what you are giving now. As you give, you will receive. 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 
you are entitled to miracles. You are entitled to miracles. You are entitled to miracles. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Forgiveness gives you everything you want. Correct perception gives you everything you want. The teachings of the Course in Miracles will give you everything you want. Everything you want. Forgiveness offers everything you want want. Mighty companion, I'm so happy that you took the time to be with me live today. I'm so thankful that you're also watching the replay. I look at all the comments. You are such a blessing to me. And I'm going to immediately listen to this because I know first and foremost, everything that I'm teaching is what I need to learn also. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for seeing value in what comes through me. And thank you for seeing value in me. I love you. I appreciate you. And may the course be with you. And all the classes are on the Earl Purdy page, online, on Facebook. Mwah.